Hi, welcome to Java Tech YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about how to create a Jasper report using Jasper Studio and MySQL database. First of all, you have to download two main things. Um, one is uh, MySQL ODBC connector and Jasper Studio. Jasper Studio we, uh, we use to design the report. A MySQL ODBC connection uh, to create the ODBC connector, uh, the bridge between uh, report design and the database. So download the relevant version to your uh, operating system uh, and install it. So I have already done uh, installed MySQL ODBC connection connector and Jasper report in my machine. I will show you how to create ODBC connection uh, to uh, connect the MySQL database using this ODBC driver. Alright, to create the ODBC connection, um, type uh, ODBC in your Windows search button, search area, you will get a window like this and create a click add button. Uh, once you install this ODBC driver, uh, you can see this new uh, NC driver and Unicode driver is available. Select NC driver, click finish. Uh, ODBC connection wizard appears. Your proper name, test ODBC, test ODBC, and the server, and user as root, your, your root password. And check whether the connection is successful and select the appropriate database. Click OK. Right. Now we have created the ODBC connection as well. Now we are going to design the report. Um, go ahead and uh, run the Casper Studio, which we downloaded from the source watch. Click File, New, New Casper Report. Is the initial design window for this? I will select blank report next. Give a proper name, and here you can select the ODBC connection we already created. Select the ODBC connection next. Select the ODBC connection now. Once the ODBC connection selected, it will display all the databases we have. Now for this tutorial, I have created a test Jasper database and one table there, employee table. So I can either select this table or write a plain query. If you have a complex query, you can write it over here. Select star, star from test Jasper dot employee. Right. So next. It will execute the query and uh, display the column names. Uh, select all the fields. Click next. If you want to group by, you can select any group by column as well. Now we have selected everything we required and click finish. Now this is the window design area. Right. <laughs> In design area, you can see multiple sections are there: title, page head, column, page head, column detail. Uh, page foot and summary uh, title section uh, will print only one time uh, in your report if you have multiple pages title section print only one time page header in every page column is the uh, header columns for detail section footer as well summary is only for one time in your report for whole report in left hand side we can have the fields we already selected from the database now I am going to uh, create a sample report with customer name, employee name, employee address. You can drag and drop very easily like uh, our normal uh, report design. Department. Salary. And date of birth. Right now, arrange arrange the column headers accordingly. Right. 
once the design is completed like this sample design uh, down there we can have we can preview the report click on preview window it will, it will uh, run the query and start preview in the, in the live data from the database see you have uh, quite a lot of space over here we can uh, reduce this space go back to design view see here in uh, column header this is the space we we see in your live report right in our live report reduce this space like this see now how, how nicely it is uh, spread right it's like this right now i'm going to uh, put i want to uh, add the total uh, total salary at the bottom at the end of the report so that we can have a variable uh, parameter right uh, let's add the variable parameter to calculate the total of the salary total of the employee salary at the end right click on the variable area and create a variable create new variable uh, we can give a proper meaningful name some salary some salary data type will be uh, data type will be double right uh, calculation function uh, we need some summation of the value uh, and go to expression and select what is the parameter we want we want the sum of salary right now we have uh, created the summary variable field and drag and drag and drop the summary uh, variable field into our report let's run it and see how it comes seeing down there you have uh, value you have value 11,000 that is 6 5,000 plus 1,000 just uh, for testing just uh, go and put this uh, variable into uh, into detail section see what happened let me put it over here right you can see what happened it's like a running total 5000 6000 so it depend on the uh, area you are placing this uh, summary variable it will uh, it will uh, the behavior of the variable is different differs so let me put it in the summary area right and uh, reduce the detail area and add the static column as well nice. Make it total salary. Total salary and put a, a title as well. Employee details. Click the preview window. See now you have a nice report with the employee detail and each employee detail and total salary. And we can format the value as well. Uh, we, you can uh, you can select data and go to text field. Uh, and text formatting area uh, pattern you can have a numeric pattern whatever the pattern we want currency uh, pattern numeric number pattern we can apply the pattern as well so it will uh, um, display based on that next tutorial i will show you how to work uh, with java source code java and using this xml source code how to work with as per report connection with java thank you for watching and subscribe to my video you can get you can get other details other videos later thanks for watching
subscribe to my java tech youtube channel for um, to get the updated of the latest videos